Manchester City's quadruple aspirations are now up in smoke. Hi, it's Sinatra here and welcome back to yet another video on the channel and it's another predict show. Me predicting matches for this weekend, six in total. And let's begin with Manchester City versus Tottenham Hotspur and the third episode of this great, amazing duo. Give me your cards, punk! Go <laughs> fuck yourself. And Spurs knocked out Man City, they tossed him to the curve. Pep Guardiola's crying his eyes out. Thinking, why the fuck did I spend all this money? Tom Hotspur didn't even spend a dime, and he can still cannot win the Champions League. But I give credit to Spurs. I think they've been excellent, to be honest, this season. I mean, yes, they're, they're going through a rocky patch at times, and every team goes through that. But Pochettino stock value is literally getting up, 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 and up. What a remarkable job he's done, Tom. He's took Tom from a bang average side that literally couldn't even get top four, a team challenged for the Premier League title with an extra one, a team that was runner up in the Premier League. When Chelsea won it, a League Cup final, an FA Cup semi final, I mean, and now a Champions League semi final. What Pochettino is doing at Tottenham with the resources he has been given is, is quite astounding, really. And I wonder if Manchester United regret not getting him and signing Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Why wouldn't you look at me during? <laughs> but, but, but I'm not going to talk about Manchester United, I'm going to give Spurs a lot of praise. Son has been for me, I think he's been top of Spurs this season, this season, Son. What a season he is having. Goals and big games, he has stepped up in the game against Borussia Dortmund. You think against Man City when, when, when Harry Kane got injured, you think, oh no, how are Spurs going to knock City out? They've got Sonaldo for goodness sake, who scored a big goal. It was offside, natural. Doesn't matter. Who gives it down? It was it was a good goal. And in the second leg, he scored two banging goals to be honest. As for Manchester City, we really find out what this team is all about right now. Because now they've been knocked out of the Champions League, the one competition they have not won in their club's history. They've won the Premier League, they've won the FA Cup, they've won the League Cup, they've never won the big one, the European Champions League Cup. This is a big game in the title race because Liverpool right now be thinking, man. If Spurs do us a favour, Liverpool may have a huge opportunity of winning the down title. And, and with Manchester City's fixture list coming up, they've got some tough fixtures. They've still obviously got Spurs to play this weekend. And then you also got the likes of United to play. You still have Burnley, which is not an easy game away from home. This is a big, big week for Manchester City. They're right out of the Champions League, but they could be out of the title race. Mental. Who the fuck, who the fuck said that? But. I'm just going for a 2-2 draw. I don't think it's going to be. A, 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 I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I think Spurs will get a draw. Now we're relaxing in a pool. In Italy, it's Inter Milan v Roma in Syria, and this is an enormous game for Inter and Roma this season. We're, this could be the game that decides Champions League top four race because if Inter Milan win this game, you could say top four. They are definitely in it for next season. If Roma win this game, that puts the pressure back onto Inter and back onto AC Milan. But Inter Milan are now, I feel, in their best form they've been throughout the whole season. They're now starting, they got a caddy back from the whole problems that have been going on in Inter Milan between a caddy, Spalletti, and the sporting director in Inter Milan. Everything, the, the ultras and all that, I think that's now pulled to one side. Right now, Inter Milan have to focus on getting that team back in the top four. And um, Claudio Ranieri, yes. Frankie Ranieri went to Roma. How, where the fuck did that come from? But uh, he was appointed when they sacked um, Di Francesco, who literally got sacked the day after they got knocked out by Porto. The recruitment they brought in is no longer good enough. I think the story has not been a good signing. Clyburn, we all know, is a good player, but again, he's a lot of development to do, and I think he should stay in our season at Ajax, to be honest. You've also got the likes of Steven Zondi, who's been a terrible signing, to be honest. And they've massively, massively have not brought in a top goalkeeper to replace Allison. Yes, the Swedish goalkeeper's done okay, but he's not freaking Allison. Do I think Bradley Ranieri's Roma can go to the San Siro and beat Inter Milan? I don't think so. That's why I believe Inter Milan will have too much for Roma and Akadi will score. 
score both of them in a 2 0 win. We're steering into Germany in a big, humongous game between Borussia Mönchengladbach and RB Leipzig. And just like just like in Syria, Bundesliga top four race is wide open because RB Leipzig right now you could have a decent little cushion over the other teams in the Champions League places. Um, and actually, you know, if they get a result this weekend, we'll probably make sure that they will finish in the top four this year. As for Klubback, whose form has definitely dipped since after the winter break, but right now they're out of the top four places because obviously Leipzig are now ahead of them. You've also got the likes of Frankfurt, you've even got the other teams behind them in good form and they're not really. So right now this is a big, big, big game for Klubback and not just for them for top four, maybe even for the future of Klobach's team because if they don't finish in the Champions League places, players, top players like Torgan Hazard, Alison Pella and many others will leave to go to teams that are in the Champions League places. Leipzig have got a better away form than home form, which is the reason why I think they'll win this weekend and Theo Werner will score two in a 3-1 win. And now, Brighton v Wolves in a massive crunch relegation game for Brighton. And Brighton right now are in a huge mess, no question about it. Why? Because they were humiliated last weekend against Bournemouth and they had a big game midweek against Cardiff City. If they don't lose that game, five point cushion over Cardiff, you think, okay, with their many fixtures for Cardiff City, four to go, I don't see them getting two wins from them. But what happened? Cardiff legit went to Brighton, the Amex Stadium, and beat them down big time. It was literally, I couldn't believe it I was watching from Brighton. Brighton really are in big trouble, big trouble. Chris Shooton has to find a way of motivating, motivating his squad, his players. They can't stay up, they still got the two point cushion. But to be honest, right now, they're in terrible form. And to be honest, since that amazing start to season they had Brighton, right now it's all come crashing down. Wolves on the other hand, um, they haven't been any better either because they're pretty much I just enjoying the sunset, can't wait for the summer to be honest, but yes, they still have a chance to finish 7th this year and the fact of the matter is they've had a fantastic season, every cup semi-final and they could finish 7th, best of the rest. New to Spirit Sun has done a remarkable job there, he's one of my managers of the season, I don't think he'll get, I don't think he'll get manager of the season, I think that way to go to Jurgen Klopp, I, I think they will comfortably beat a Brighton team who I believe are going down. 3 0 Wolves. Because we're heading to Spain and it's Gretafe versus Sevilla. And Gretafe has been, for me, one of the teams of the season. They've really impressed me this season, Gretafe. I, I think this team could legitimately have a chance, say, chance of finishing the Champions League places. Absolutely not. You think Alexis Sevilla and Valencia, who have bigger squads and obviously better quality of players. It's a street fight between, at this moment, the team, Gretafe and Sevilla. Who will, who will come out in this big, enormous game for the Champions League places? That last Champions League spot in La Liga, I believe Sevilla won't be too much going forward and too much to handle for Getafe, and I think Sevilla will win 2 0. And that just leads the last game in Liga is PSG versus Monaco. And Paris Saint Germain, all they needed was a point from the remaining fixtures, and they're winning another Liga title yet again. Well, it's not happening. It's not happening because in the last three matches they were hopeless against Strasbourg which sure Moting called it the biggest miss ever, ever. And then they played Leo, all the names of point in that game and guess what, Leo fucked them 5-1 and then all you think, okay, midweek game against a team in Nantes. They were even worse in that game. I mean, what is going on with Paris Saint-Germain? I've said this once and I'll say this again. Since they've been knocked out of the Champions League PSG, they have been so by average. It's incredible. With that squad and that talent of players, how can you legit not be motivated to winning the godforsaken title with only one point from the remaining fixtures? I find that absolutely unbelievable. Monaco, Leonardo Jardine obviously came back after getting fired during the season. You were this close to losing your team. <laughs> Uh -oh. And he came back and he's put that all to bed. He could have came back and said, you know what, fuck Monaco. Go there, I hope you get relegated. You sacked my ass and I put this team to the Champions League semi-final. 
No, he's came back and he's always said, you know what, I'm going to get this team, I'm going to keep this team in league earned for this season. And I think they will get a result in this game because I think PSG's form has been absolutely woeful and I think they're going to get a 1-1 draw. So that's the end of another prediction on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you were ecstatic that Manchester City are not going to win the quadruple, then go down to the like button and make sweet fucking love to it. Hope you all have a swell, amazing day. Enjoy yourselves. Please like, subscribe. The natural is out.